Okay, this is the problem. I needed a thread dial for a Sebastian lathe, couldn't get one, so I thought I'd try and make one. I think it's going to work, and it was very easy. So, um, uh, this is a little description of how I did it briefly, very brief description. I took two old bolts like this. One became the stem and dial for the thread dial. The other one became like the body of the thread dial. So you'll see here, I was going to make a dial and all this, but this seemed pretty easy and I think it'll work. Here are the two pieces. On the right is the body, left is the stem with the dial on top. The, across there is a mounting uh, piece that has a 7 16 bolt that will screw into the side of the carriage. I took the body, the one bolt, rounded off the head, obviously, drilled all the way through it, dished it out to accommodate the dial, um, and then, uh, you know, did some fancy stuff. I did a little narrowing on it, but, you know, it's crude, but it, it'll, I think it'll work. And all I need to do is know when to engage the half nuts, not to launch a satellite. Anyway, this is the stem with the dial on top, all one piece. I turned it down, um, left it, you know, only high, about 5 sixteenths in several spots. The rest of it, I turned it down to give it some room and reduce the drag. And again, it has the dial on top. I'm not sure how I will hook the gear. The, I haven't made the gear yet, the gear for the bottom. But here's the dial. I kind of messed up the four, but it was one piece, very simple. And I don't see any reason why it won't work. There's will be a short video right here showing you. Uh, I was using the drill on it just to see how it worked. Okay, this is my new thread dial I made for the Sebastian Viking Lane. As you can see, one, two, three. It works pretty nice. I just need the gear for the bottom. There it is. Obviously, right now I'm just turning it with the drill. 